Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-kareem Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Amma ba' So As we have seen It is very troubling With the dehumanization That some of these feminists have giving towards the little babies and what I find very sad is a feminist doesn't see pregnancy as something special they don't see it as a gift they don't value fertility they enjoy smiting the little ones in their wombs feminists Fetishize being cold, callous, wicked, vain, and nasty. And if you can't have mercy towards a little babe, why should you expect anyone to have mercy to you? A lot of these feminists will sit on pity parties and complain about the patriarchy. They'll complain about their office culture. You name it. And they expect you to feel sorry for them when they deny that pregnancy is anything special. So when their friend wants the baby, they're happy for her. But if another friend doesn't want it, they call the baby a parasite. And they think there's no contradiction there. The process is the same. The being's essence is the same. It's just the mother's behavior that changes the perception. And this is not the way you should base your worldview. A child either has value or it doesn't. There was a disturbing post on a, by Ubiquisoft, a gaming company, where they were lamenting Roe vs. Wade being overturned. I want you to think about that for a second. That a corporation that does video games of violence is sad that women will have a little less easier time dismembering little tiny humans. Isn't that bizarre that a corporation who should be focused on living wages, on production quality, is giving their political two cents about such a stupid issue, it shows you how soft a lot of us Americans have become, but also how deeply immersed in wickedness we have become. Which leads me to making you want to think about how paradise is something to be striven for. If you think about how beautiful the world is, and when you get out into nature and you see it, you have that peace inside, and we know that little feeling of peace and tranquility will be nothing compared to the peace and tranquility and beauty and everything wonderful that is paradise. So why would anyone allow feminists to drag them down to hell? Why would anyone want to sit in the crowd of feminists who foam at the mouth, rioting, attacking police officers, throwing Molotov cocktails at buildings, ripping their clothes off, spitting in the faces of church people and religious people who are attacking and spray painting churches. Why would anyone want to sit and associate with them? Why would any man want to marry a woman of that caliber? Why would any man feel safe sleeping next to a woman who has zero remorse? zero mercy for her own children. Shouldn't that terrify some men? That a woman who is so deeply entrenched in the abyss and pitfall of malice, cruelty, and hatred, that she would willingly and joyfully and gleefully head to a doctor, expect sympathy, 
and then hand over the cash. Or even worse, have taxpayers fund it. And then walk out of the clinic feeling like she's achieved something. Even worse when these feminists upload the videos to TikTok for views. Even worse, the liberal run TikTok, the Chinese spy app, will allow you to post such a horrific video. And a lot of them have music. Dancing happily. I want you to really think about that. I want you to think about what feminism does to your daughters. I want you to think about how it inverts the human soul, pushes women to be mean, nasty, and worse. They always say, what if a woman is, you know, assaulted? And then you should flip back on them and say, and what of the woman who's had six abortions? What about the woman who enjoys it and films it and makes a political statement, then wears a t-shirt shouting about it? What about her? I think we should push farther in society. We should make it that if you have six abortions, you should be jailed or you should be sterilized by the state. You should be forcibly sterilized. Because if you have decided that six lives was not enough for you to get your tubes tied, to stop sleeping with bad men, to get a better character, to be a better human being, you're too wicked. Six lives, little tiny heartbeats, a little kid's tiny toes, their adorableness. You feel nothing as you headed there. And the thing is, is as they push this abortion occultic agenda, how creepy to see these doctors in their white lab coats, which should be stained with blood. Their faces should be marked with dark circles under their eyes, and their eyes should be beady like rats, who cash in that check that was received off of the ending of heartbeats of human beings. Who wants to defend those kinds of doctors? Why would you want to be in the company of those kinds of people? It's like a magic spell, that lab coat. It makes people fetishize and worship and think that you wear a lab coat, you must be just this pure being. Who would want to sit and have dinner? Let an abortionist eat at your table, sit next to your children. Who knows what kinds of demons follow that person around at night? You know how you know Allah is merciful? It's because Allah doesn't punish those doctors by hearing the screams of babies to the day they leave this earth. To haunt them with nightmares. To haunt them with trauma. They enjoy their lavish vacations, their polished shoes, exquisite watches and latest phones. But once that heart stops pumping and the body is tossed into the dirt and covered with it, and they meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, everything they had in this world will be of no benefit. So if you're a Muslim, or any person really, and you're minimizing the loss of life, the disrespect to f the gift of fertility, the underappreciation of motherhood, the enabling of evil, you won't get away with it. And don't let yourself be dragged down to hell. Don't let Feminists lead you astray and fill your head with misguidance. Why would you ever trust a woman and think she's capable of being your friend when she couldn't show pity, mercy, empathy, kindness towards her own baby? A child who shared her bloodline. A child who needed her, depended on her, 
was helpless, was vulnerable. If she can't have mercy towards that little one, why would she ever help you? Each time a woman has an abortion is each time her soul splits and peels, snaps, fractures and breaks. And her looks and arrogance will fade and she'll be a disheveled, raisin-faced, gray-haired, wicked, nasty woman gloating about floating about and you will see that she has no glow no joy only a gray mist of desperation depression and nastiness like a withered rose Be careful of who you associate with. You're young now, but that doesn't mean you should be arrogant towards little babies. And why take the anger for the man out on the baby? Why? The baby loves you more than the man. The baby will love you more than your own self. How can you look in the eyes of a child and think, that's nothing special. Why would society think it's smart to turn women into such vampiristic, wolf-like heathens who cheer and spit at the mouth to harm helpless, innocent beings, to manifest that kind of energy on earth? at such a scale through social media and corporations like Ubiquisoft and many others. Tesla, Elon Musk reimbursing women who travel to get an abortion. A car company is helping women to execute babies. Stand firm, family. Don't let them persuade you with their fake sob stories. Most of the women just can't keep their legs closed. Super sloppy. There's too many contraceptives nowadays. Is it really too hard to ask women to make better decisions with men? To control themselves? That's cruel. So it's cruel to tell a woman to just stop attracting and wasting time with bad men and to grow up. But it's not cruel to feel... I'll just leave it there. Just remember that school is not more valuable than your baby. No one cares about you on campus. You're nothing special. You're a stupid number on the roll. You getting your dopamines from your diploma and thinking you're some special lady is ridiculous. I don't care what field you studied in. A child is worth more than all your degrees. And if you think culling babies so that you can go to your stupid class is worth it, I feel sorry for you. And I feel sorry for any man who wants to be with a woman who thinks a stupid class is more important than her child. Be strong and stop letting these feminists manipulate you. Be stronger than them. They'll see you on Judgment Day. Why do you want to go with them? Let them be kicked into the volcano. Stay far away from them. Show mercy to babies. Be on the side of good, not on the side that wants to help lab copes get more money on selling baby parts. A society that devalues pregnancy and human beings in such a manner as abortion and glorifies it is one destined to be destroyed by God. So be wise. Have mercy accountability and responsibility.
help women make better choices. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help more women to keep their legs closed. I mean.